Blessed and happy Saturday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. My dear Kababayans, today is uh, July 13, 2024, Saturday within the 14th week in Ordinary Time Year B. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 24 to 33. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered and nothing secret that will not become known. The gospel for today reminds us that in due time, all will be revealed. Truth cannot be hidden for a long time. There are no secrets that time does not reveal. And what the gospel is trying to tell us is this. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to tell the truth. As what our first reading is reminding us today, Open your lips. Never allow persecutions, threats, or deny what is true. Sometimes in our life, sufferings may lead us to reject the totality of truth. That's why the gospel says, Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. In short, do not be afraid to proclaim the truth about your faith. Do not be afraid to proclaim the truth about Jesus. My dear friends, use your lips to uncover the truth. Use your lips to, to acknowledge Jesus. Use your lips to praise the Lord. Like what Prophet Isaiah is telling us in our first reading, our lips will be unclean if we, we see the Lord but we never acknowledge Him. The challenge for today is this. Stay away from people with unclean lips. People who, who love to talk about hearsay. People who love to talk about gossip. Stay away from them. Stay away from individuals who always curse and swear. Be allergic to someone who is not honest, who is not telling the truth. And to conclude, acknowledge the Lord and proclaim the truth about God by using your lips. Never allow your lips be the reason of your condemnation if your words are useless. Better close your mouth. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends, share it with your family. Make the word of God viral so that many will be blessed. Amen.